This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny. And hey guys, uh, yeah, welcome to the uh, first commentated series of this LP. Epic Fish Dolphin jumping out of the water. Uh, but yeah, um... This is going to be part, I think... What an epic intro, man. I love the music in this game. But I think this is going to be about, like, part 13 or 14 of this LP. Um, and I'll, I'll explain why in a second, but... Ah, oh, gotta love that intro. Alright. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play The Dawn of Destiny. Yeah, let's uh, load the game here. Yeah, um, uh, sorry I haven't do been doing all these with commentary, but uh, uh, anyway, we're just going to get in a quick duel here uh, with, I, yeah, I've already dueled a few of these guys a few, quite a few times, uh, as you guys have seen from the other recordings. We're going to duel Joey here, uh, but just a quick recap. Because uh, I really haven't commentated any of the episodes, and there's a reason for that. Like I said, I'll say why, but... Uh, yeah, we've already cleared out Tier 1 and Tier 2. Uh, and in fact, I'll talk a little bit about the structure of this game uh, a little later, probably in this video. Um, but yeah, we've cleared out those two, and by doing so, we've unlocked uh, quite a few duelists. Uh, here in the beginning of the game. Uh, Chimon or Simon. Uh, Grandpa, Tristan, Taya, Yugi, and Joey. We're just gonna do a little Joey here real quick. Alright. Come on, bring it. I'll take you on any time, any place. Alright, let's do it, Joey. Yeah, in a traditional rock, paper, scissors format. No real need for explanation there, so. Okay, so, why haven't I really uh, commentated all these videos? Uh, well, a couple reasons, but the main one being, oh, I love the freaking music in this game, oh my god. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna set Mystic Tomato, but, um, yeah, uh, as you guys know, the real only means I have of recording is my cell phone. And he got... Is that Armored Lizard? I think it is. Oh man, but I love the music in this game. Uh, but yeah, it's my cell phone, and as you can probably actually see on this video, it doesn't record, you know, in the best quality ever, uh, which is why I've been, Let's see, I'm going to summon Kamori Dragon here, should help us out, uh, but yeah, that's why I haven't really, huh. you know, I kind of actually want Mystic Tomato's effect, but, eh, I guess I could write but yeah, that's kind of why I've left things as they are, uh, Really what I've been doing is using the... I, I really wanted to start this LP. Uh, you know, but actually... <sighs> I just, you know, started re using the recording device. And I was like, okay, okay. We're just going to keep using this for a while. And it kind of worked out because... <clears throat> um, oh, sorry, guys. But, um, yeah, I've actually been getting, like, sick these last uh, couple days. So sorry if I sound you know, different in most of my videos. I try not to record, um, we've been a special summon here. Let's just do Black Land. It's not gonna matter, because he's got Axe Raider, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, usually I try not to record while I'm sick, but, I don't know, I just really wanted to get this LP going, and, um, I guess I could set Penguin Soldier, man. Yeah. Nah, I'll do this first. But yeah, I really just wanted to get this LP going, and then, and then I did. Um, 
Oh, I should have switched to the fence mode there. Yeah, that's my bad. Kind of not paying attention since I'm talking, but uh, two Axe Raiders. Boy, Joey, I'm seeing double. Alright. But yeah, uh, you know, I wanted to get just get it going so I could start the grind. Because there's a lot that, that I want to show in this game. And by a lot, I mean in the way of cards, good cards, and different strategies you can use. But in order to do that, ooh, Dragon Zombie, okay. But yeah, in order to show everything I want to show in this LP, uh, I'm going to need to grind for a lot of cards. And even now, oh my god, I love this music. Even now, I haven't got not even half of the cards that I need. Uh, so, uh, that's, that's kind of the reason I started the first, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not really sure which episode this is going to be, but that's why I, you know, started the first, you know, uh, 14, 15 episodes, uh, without, dude, he discarded Axe Raider, really? But yeah, that's why I started all those without uh, commentary. So, sorry about that. You know, if you're just if you just love you know L U V, my commentary can't get enough. Sorry about that. But that's that's part of the reason for that. You know, premature burial. That's a good card. Uh, excuse me. You pay 800 points and bring back a monster from your graveyard and attack one. So. Just getting a drink of my water there. So yeah, in this episode, Neo, nice. Yeah, in this episode, <laughs> Rock oh, God, oh, what the heck is that, man? <laughs> uh, but yeah, in this episode, and really any of the future episodes, I'm not gonna worry, you know, too much about commentary, because actually, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Actually, too, uh, this video, it's kind of going to be funny how this video goes. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but at the start of the video, I went ahead and uh, turned on my, you know, HD recording device that I've been using for this uh, LP so far. So, you know, if you just, you know, like the epic music, which I do, I mean, can't say I blame you if you like the epic music, too. If you just, you know, love the epic music and, um, yeah, HD without my commentary, which, I mean, most of this has been, so if you're watching this episode, I assume you do love the gameplay, and and that's that's great uh, in HD. Uh, yeah, that file will be available as well. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Um, don't really make, have any plans to, you know, commentate every episode, uh, especially since I'm still, you know, kind of sick, so, um, yeah, look forward to that, and, uh, I hope you guys really like this, I, I really like this game, it's, it's a good one. Uh, right now we're kind of just both stalling each other out, you know, he's got... If he wanted to, he could crash into my Neo, which would actually make sense. Because then it, I couldn't, you know, attack him. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't attack, you know, his, his monsters that he set, so... I don't know. Uh, the problem is, if we stall out for too much here, Joey's gonna draw, like, Time Wizard or... A Fusion. Either way, not good. I'm gonna set Turtle Tiger this time. Oh, but man, I love the music. Just listen to that soundtrack. Listen to that soundtrack, man. <sighs> I mean, wow. Great game. This is, this is a really great game. Considering it was made in only like, I think it was made 2003. Oh, there it is. Time was like I said. This is only a matter of time. Hee hee hee. Puns. Go time, let go. Oh, major fail, Joey. Major fail. You just, yeah, yeah. You you wiped your own board, buddy. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't have as much luck with, with it here as you do in uh, Nightmare Troubadour. <clears throat> also have a Let's Play of that going if you want to check that out. Shameless plug. Hashtag shameless plug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I really didn't talk about my deck. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, well, I guess, you know, if you're watching this, you probably watched all the uh, other episodes, but... Yeah, I actually entered my name as Floodmon14, and uh, funnily enough, ah oh, man, I got totally whooped, but I'm never gonna quit as long as I got my whole future ahead of me. But yeah, I actually started my name with Floodmon14, and I and I basically got the water star starter deck. I mean, it's not all water, but we got Legendary Ocean, which is really good. Uh, I'm gonna pick Slifer here. Okay, nothing the special. But yeah. <laughs> I guess I can show you guys my deck real quick. I mean, really, if you're watching this part, you've probably already, I mean, you've already seen the deck in action. You've seen it been built up from nothing. But uh, the major cards we got here, Trihorn Dragon and Genotech Alligator. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, Cybertech Alligator. Um, Cybertech, really good. You can distribute it with one tribute. And um, it has 2,500. You know, 1,600 defense. Really good. Trihorn Dragon, yeah, it's not a blue eyes. Uh, but yeah, unworthy with three sharp horns. Pretty powerful, 2,850. Uh, not the most powerful um, monster that you can start with in your starter deck. I think some come with Cosmo Queen which has 2,900, um, but see, yeah, it's still pretty good. As far as spells and traps, really, that's gonna be the, you know, because your starter deck doesn't start out with many spells and traps, and as you can see, we, we only got, like, what is that, 11? So, and they're not all, you know, the best spells and traps, but a couple of key ones here, Royal Decree, Harpy's Feather Duster, of course, Legendary Ocean, which boosts all water attributes by 200 and also decreases their level which is good and rush recklessly which uh, is a 700 point boost uh, paralyzing potion isn't that bad either um, a, a non-machine equipped with it can't attack so that's actually that's, yeah, that's not the worst card uh, yeah it's situational but it can help you and as you can see we've kind of built up you know a couple penguin soldiers and you know the rest are just mainly Magician of Faith is good too. I think that came with my starter deck. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've kind of just built up, you know, with the strongest stuff we've got. Most of it's around, you know, 14, 1500. Like I said, nothing, you know, nothing like crazy good. But hey, it's what we got. So we'll be happy with it. Alright, anyway, oh yes, let me uh, just sh show you guys this. So this is how this game works. Um, there's not really like a, you know, main storyline, like Nightmare Troubadour or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, if you guys have played that on PS2, or Duels of the Roses. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, we're just going to start in Tier 3 here. Ooh. Yeah, we'll save Yami Yugi for last. We'll do shoddy first. Uh, but yeah, you can switch the order of the people you duel. And basically, the last guy on the list there is the person you'll unlock in single player mode. And that's how I, I did, unlocked everyone. So we want to leave Yami Yubi last so we can duel him in single player a little bit. Um, so, yeah. And the way the tier works, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but... Uh, like for example, on tier one here, uh, Simon has 2,000 life points, Grandpa has 2,000, Yugi has 3,000, while you have 6,000. Now, yeah, that kind of sounds unfair because, you know, you have a full 6,000 and, uh, Simon and Grandpa only have 2,000. So, but the, the kicker is with these tier duels, you know, your life point value sticks from duel to duel to duel. So that means like, for example, if you, Simon takes you all the way down to 500 points, you're gonna have 500 points 
to take out Grandpa and Yugi, so yeah, good luck with that, right? So, yeah, we're gonna start with Tier 3 here, and we're gonna duel some of the Millennium Item Holders here, Shoddy first. As a disciple of Anubis, my people have still got a tune for millenniums. Yagashimash, this is another test, so prepare for a shadow game. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. We can beat Shadi. I hope. <laughs> right, no, knowing my uh, luck, you know, LP, LP, LP Earth's curse. Um, you know, the first duel I actually decided to record with my voice. Uh, my voice will not give me super strength. Yeah, that was the worst Tristan impersonation ever, by the way. But yeah, knowing my luck, uh, we'll just straight up lose a shoddy and that'll be it. Okay, so we got a good hand here. Harpy's Feather Duster is really good to have, uh, opening hand. Uh, but I'm gonna set Turtle Tiger and hope to tribute it for Marie later. So, we'll just set let him go. Now, you guys will notice in a lot of these duels, I play very, you know, defensively. And for good reason. I mean, look at that. He just set four cards on his first turn. So, yeah. Pretty good reason for me playing defensively, right? Because, like, for example, okay, I know I have Harpy's Feather Duster, so it's not going to be, you know, maybe the same result but like yeah if I just you know blatantly attacked here I'd be walking into a minefield basically I mean so yeah that's why in a lot of these duels you may or may not like it but I'm gonna be playing pretty defensively you know all around so you know if you yeah sorry but that's you know really the best way to play so, anyway, we'll tackle Black Clan, and he's got Cyber Jars, so, yeah. Good effect monster. It blows everything up on the field, and then both players will kind of take a peek at the top five cards of their deck, summon any level four or lower um, to the field. So, pretty good card. I actually want that card. It's one of the cards I want to show off. Looks like we got a good... Uh, good lot there. Let's see what he gets. Just peek. Ooh, Goblin Attack Force. Good card. Gravekeeper Servant. Not worried about that. Fairy Spots. That could be a problem. Kappa Avenger. Okay. And Black Pendant. That could be a problem. Okay, so we know he has Kappa Avenger, so let's just kill it with Grappler. I like Grappler's attack animation in this game. <laughs> oh, man. That's just cool. I know Grappler's like the crappiest you know, four-star monster in the existence of this game, but I'm sorry, it just, it just looks cool. It's like a water, it's like, it's like a wolf thing fist, only water and like awesome, so. Okay, and he attacks with Goblin Attack Force. That's actually not a bad thing, because after Goblin, I'm sure you guys know, but yeah, Goblin Attack Force, really powerful, 2300 to start. But after you attack with it, uh, yeah, it, uh, it shifts to defense mode, so that's not such a bad thing. I mean, because it has zero defense, so, you know, not too big a loss there, honestly. And I'm just going to assume his face-down cards are Fairy's Box, which he just played, and Gravekeeper Servant, because, I mean, we got a peek at him, so... Why wouldn't those be his face down cards? Alright, now Fairy Box. Tricky card. Basically, you flip a coin. If you guess it right, which he didn't there, uh, the, the monster I'm attacking with is going to go to zero for the battle phase. So, could be risky attacking, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, and Morphing Jar. So, it looks like Shoddy has a lot of, you know, kind of flip effect monsters. Hmm. Uh, got the discard metal detector. That sucks. Oh, we gotta discard cyber tech alligator. But we got penguin soldiers, so... Yeah. Overall, I'm fine with that. With how that went. So. Man, I feel like I've been talking, like, non-stop in this little, like, 
talk and talk and talk. Okay. So he's going to attack us with Goblin Attack Force. Not a bad move. I mean, that's a powerful card. Um, funny thing about it is... Ooh, I only got two Penguin Soldiers. I think I could win here. Oh, no, I can't, because he still has Fairy Box. And if he guesses it right, then... Yeah. So, I'm just going to play Common. Oh, that's 1400. Um, I'm surprised he didn't play Great Cooper Servant yet. Because, I I mean, we saw him draw that card, right? So, I don't know. Maybe I should have used Penguin Soldier. No, no, no. Then again, I shouldn't have... I should have done exactly what I did. Because Penguin Soldier returns it to the hand. And then that means he could have just played it in attack mode. And, you know, attacked with it again. So... Yeah, definitely the right move I made there. Alright, we'll use Penguin Soldier. Alright, and what I like to do with it is it can return two monsters to the hand. So what you just saw me do there is return itself to the hand, which is, you know, it works out pretty good. And then return his monster uh, that we didn't know what it was to his hand. So. Hopefully this attack goes through, because if it does, we win, so I don't think it did, though. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, that's okay. It's alright. Eventually, he'll run out of... Yeah, and you have to pay 500 points per turn to play that card, so... Yeah, now he's down to 100, so... Yeah, he'll probably discard that card now. So that's good. Yeah, you can't pay life points, shoddy. Oh, now he plays Great Cube. Why? Like, why would you play it now? I don't get it, man. I, I really don't. Dude, and he... He killed himself. Because with, <laughs> with Chain Energy, you have to pay 500 points <laughs> to play a card from, from his hand, but he just killed himself. Okay, thanks, Shadi. My tending may have been coming to an end, young man. Yagashimas. You could be the one we've been looking for. Since ancient times. Alright. Wow. Alright, and in between duels here, you can actually adjust your deck. Um, which, believe it or not, I'm going to do for Bakura. So, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, he still runs like a, you know, sort of deck out, slash discard, you know, from your hand strategy, so... We'll swap out uh, Electric Snake, and we'll put out, and eh, it doesn't really matter, we'll just put out Alligator Sword, you know what, we'll put out Bolt Escargot, because that's, you know, not really gonna, the reason I put it in the deck is because I will not go down easy, nor do I expect you to. Let's do it. Alright. But yeah, uh, it's because it goes down one level with Legendary Ocean, and yeah, that way you can just set it right away. And it'll have decent defense, I guess. But anyway, on to Bakura. Alright. Oh yeah, and that's Bakura's other, that's Bakura's like real strategy. Is I just remembered it. It's actually not so much the discarding things. It's actually this. Like what he has right here. Maha Bilo and equip cards. Yeah. Oh, Cyclone. Oh, I'm sorry. Mystical Space Typhoon. That's actually a good card. Um. Wow, and it's a good thing we got our fuel card, Legendary Ocean, because none of our cards could have beat uh, Maha Bilo. As you can see, this is its effect. Yeah, it gains 500 points in addition to whatever the equip card does uh, per equip card. So, pretty beast combination, really. But, luckily, he didn't play any equip cards on it. Uh, so. But, yeah, even if you just, like, revive that card with Premature Burial, that's, yeah, that's 2050. Hey, not bad. Alright, yeah, that's part of his strategy. Gravekeeper Serpent. 
kind of annoying, but um, yeah, basically every time you declare an attack, you have to discard a card from the top of your deck. So, yeah, that's not good. Play Black Land Fire Dread. And Black Fireball Attack. Yeah, see, so now our ritual is dead. Oh my god, dude. Good defensive monster, Bakura. Wow. Looks like I'll have to s try to set Penguin Soldier get around that somehow. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Bloody X. Oh, I'm sorry, Axe of Despair. Yeah. Good card. Boosts your attack by a thousand. Yeah. Yep. That is one powerful ghost. And he is gross. Oh man, still love the music in this game, man. What can you say? All right, and believe it or not, I'm actually gonna attack his card because yeah, why not? Bio plant. Pfft. Yeah. Yeah, it'll cost me some points, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice because we've already uh, beat you know Shoddy, so. And I, but I probably should keep all the life points I can for Yami Yugi, but. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, we're, ju we're just going to do this. We can do this. All right, but cool. Ooh, Trihorn Dragon. Best card we can play, but it, it needs two tributes. So, uh, right now what I'm going to do is Penguin Soldier, Return Itself. And I'll return this powerful card. Bye bye, Axe of Despair. <laughs> no, not playing cards. Okay. And I'll summon Celtic Guardian. Oh, the Celtic Guardian, Yogi. Hey, Bakura, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. Ha ha ha. Get it? Because you play a fiend, a cult deck. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Alright, well you finally, finally played a face down, so... Yeah, Royal Decree, really good card. Uh, as long as it's up, all the trap cards are negated, so... And you'll find a lot of opponents in this game like to play... You know, Trap Hole, or... You know, whatever. Annoying strategy field card, so it's actually good that we drew that. Oh man, we discarded Rush Recklessly. That sucks. Yeah. Alright, Bakura. Your turn. Let's see if he gets another equip card for his strategy. He might. I wouldn't be surprised if that face down's an equip card. Oh, Maha Bilo. Not good. Uh, okay. Well, he didn't play any equip cards, so I'm okay with that. Alright. Bakura got us down at 3850 here, bruh. Let's, uh. Let's just set this. Ah, I guess I'll switch Kamora Dragon to defense mode. No real point leaving it in attack mode at this point. Hmm. I'm not even sure, you know, what tribute monsters Bakura uses, really. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. Does he have Dark Necrofear? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. It sounds fishy. Alright, we're gonna summon Mystic Tomato. Uh, kind of a good card. When it's, uh, destroyed, you can special summon a Dark Monster from your deck, as long as it's, uh, 1500 attack or less, so... This is actually good because it'll let us hopefully keep two tributes for. Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh, he destroyed Legendary Ocean, really? Okay, okay. I thought he was gonna destroy Royal Decree, because I was gonna say, yeah, that way he could play all the trap cards at once, but hey, I'm I'm okay with that, Bakura. You can destroy Legendary Ocean all you like. Uh, oh, now 
now you play Black Panda. Oh, God, dude. Dude! Okay. Uh, <laughs> and the LP curse begins. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> so I went over Mahavilo's effect early in the duel. Let's see what its attack point's at now. Yeah, 4750. Holy crap. On the turn I was about to be able to summon Trigorn Dragon. Man. Whew, Bakura does not play. I mean, luckily we got Penguin Soldiers, so... Yeah, we can really screw... Screw over that thing, but my god, dude. And he's got another Black Pendant. Oh my god. Dude, Bakura. Chill out, man. That thing's got 57, 50 points. Oh my god. Bakura OP, next level. Like, oh my god, dude. Holy crap. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna... Actually, I think we just won. Believe it or not, despite that insanely attacked my hot bylo. Because if I select both his monsters, and then go for Trihorn Dragon, I think that's game. So luckily we got Trihorn Dragon, I mean, and we kept being on Soldier. I think that's what saved us. And yeah, he's gonna pop off a bunch of effects. The most annoying one's gonna be Black Pendant, because it takes our points, but... I mean, dang, dude, like... <sighs> Whew! Bakura ain't playing, man. See, that's his strategy, is Maha Vilo. Screw the discarding his card effects. That's what you want to watch out for. Yeah. Whew. Man. Alright, GG, Bakura. Golly, man. That thing is up was OP. It's clearly obvious who's the better duelist is. You. Thanks, Bakura, for admitting it like a man. Alright, and last guy in the tier, Yami Yubi. We gotta beat him to unlock him. Gotta admit, it's gonna be a hard duel. But uh we're, we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a try. Alright. Uh let's put back in what did I take out for electric snake? I forgot. Oh yeah, bolt penguin. Uh should I really put this in? I guess I will. Alright. Uh, man, I kinda need some more water. Every deck has a chance to win, as long as you believe in the heart of the cards. Let's duel. Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. That's what Yugi's gonna... Yami. Yugi's gonna hope to do. I like his outfit, though. I gotta admit, that's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty chill, man. Alright, first turn... Might as well just set pre right? I mean, that's... Yeah. That's a good... There's there's no reason, like, on the first turn, especially when you got a hand like mine, there's no reason to set, like, monsters in attack mode. Yeah, and even if you did, look. I play my spell card, Raijiki. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Raijiki. Woo! Man, that's... That's a bad card, man. And by that, I mean that's good. I wonder if we can win that card. I don't know. I don't know. kind of doubt it, but... Uh, let's see, I think I'll set... I mean, I could attack here, but this is Yami Yugi, guys, so let's be honest. This card's probably... I mean, worst case scenario, it's Mirror Force. Best case scenario, it's like Trap Hole or something like that, so... Just gonna play defensively. It's probably a good call. We might lose this duel, which is... It's okay, it's okay. You can just watch me try again in the next episode. So. Giant Soldier of Stone. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. And he's gonna attack. I'm very okay with that. But yeah. Lose some of your own life points. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Doing okay. Alright. Now, like I said, it still could be Mirror Force, so... We're gonna leave Aquamador in defense, and 
gonna try to play Kamora Dragon. No trap hole, okay? Ooh, what if that's Magic Cylinder? Oh, man. That would suck big chunk. But you know, I gotta do something. I gotta, I gotta go for it. No trap card. Thank you, Yugi. Thank you. Thank you. Whew, man. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go for it. Sometimes it's a bluff. Sometimes it's, it's nothing. As, as you can see, he, did, he didn't do jack diddly about that. Sometimes it's... Whew, man, I was really... I kind of psyched myself out there for a second. I was like, man, what's that magic cylinder? <laughs> like, seriously, man. Gemini Elf. Okay, normally I'd be scared of that. But guess what, you I have a spell card. Rush recklessly. Boost my monster's attack by 700. <gasps> magic Chamber? Oh! Good call, Yugi. Good call. So it wasn't a bluff. Well, it kind of was, really. Okay, Yugi. Okay. Man, I gotta be careful. I only got 900 points left. And he could, you know, tribute for... As you guys know, Yugi's got a lot of two tribute monsters. You know, Guy the Fierce Knight, Dark Magician, you know. I mean, he could hit me with anything here. Uh, Slate Warrior. Hmm. Okay. Slate Warrior. Alright, I'm gonna return Slate and Gemini Elf back to the Kind of clear out the field a little bit. Right, let's see what we get here. Hmm. Should I go for the 300 point damage? You know what? I will. Just because, you know, that way he can't, you know, sacrifice for. Uh, what takes one tribute? Yeah, like Curse of Dragon, Summon Skull. Can't sacrifice for those, so. Yep. Cost me another 200 points, but. Yeah, I'm willing to do it. Alright. This duel is intense, man. I don't know if we'll, we'll have time to finish it in this episode. Because uh, it looks like we're at like 38 minutes, so. Yeah, if I can't finish it, I'll just. What I'll do is I'll just pause the recording. <laughs> the recording. <laughs> well, and you can't actually pause the game, but I'll just, um, what you call it? I will just, sorry, I'm checking the monsters because Backup Soldier can bring back three, so. But yeah, I'll just pause the, uh, oh, that's what I'm thinking of, my capture device. Yeah, I'll like pause that and then, um, We'll just, uh, I'll wait to transfer all the files, so. Ooh, actually, it looks like my capture device is, uh, is actually full, so. I actually stopped by, what? Do you put Slate Warrior in defense mode? What? Now, see, the thing is, I could attack it, but I know, we know that he has another 1900 point monster so I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it Yugi all right yeah yes see he still has Gemini elf so that was a good call now if he puts Gemini elf in defense mode you know I might consider that but and we got a nice little wall going here what you gonna do, Yugi, man? Got all these cards in defense mode. Dark Hole? Bring back Raigiki? What you gonna do? Oh! That's what you're gonna do. You know, that's kinda what I thought you were gonna do. <laughs> Dog Magic Attack! Yeah. That's a pretty cool animation. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty cool animation. We might be screwed here. I don't know. Alright, so now that I got five monsters in the graveyard, I'll probably... Yeah, I'll set this. I'm not going to play it yet, because I kind of want to bring back Mystical Elf with it as well. But, uh, yeah. Man. Ooh, okay, well... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and play.
play it then, because you were going to destroy it anyway, so... Might as well take my monsters back. Yep, I'll take Prevan Rat, thank you. Yep, I'll take Kamori Dragon, thank you. And yep, I'll take Alcumador. Not bad, not bad. Alright, but he'll probably still attack with Dark Magician. What? Okay. That move didn't make... Dude, you could have attacked twice. You... <laughs> He's just screwing with me now. He's like, he's like, I'm the king of games, bitch. <laughs> I only need one Dark Magician to defeat you. <laughs> like, like seriously, why did he... He, he could have attacked with Jim... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> you hey, man, what are you doing? Oh my god, bro. Wow. Alright, but the good news is, is now, he's only attacking with one monster each turn, so... I'm... I'm actually... I'm okay... Ooh! <laughs> Yugi, how about you attack with... No Dark Magician? Ha <laughs> ha! Paralyzing Potion! <laughs> yes! Okay. Now, yes, he has cards that can easily destroy that. Or he could simply sacrifice Dark Magician for something else, but hey. Um, yeah, go ahead and sacrifice it, man. That's that's fine with me. I wouldn't mind that one bit. Alright. Yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good here, honestly. That was that was a clutch draw, so. Alright. Whew, man. This first recorded episode, it's living up to the hype, that's for sure, man. Like, this this has been an epic duel. But, uh, and I don't even know if the... It's gonna cut off the recording here at some point. I imagine it would. It's at 43 minutes. And my phone's only got, like, a, so much space, so... Uh... Yeah, I'll tackle Komori Dragon. Because I got a... Got a backup plan. Hopefully this isn't... Oh, nigga. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. Because now, you can, you know what I can do now? Is I can sacrifice my Komori Dragon to play Bolt Escargo, which, yeah, it's a bad card. But see, that way it lets me play offensively and defensively. What do you think about that? Haha, still got 700 life points. What you gonna do? Oh, man, that was Cyber Jar. Dang, dude. You know, that really could have helped me, honestly. Like, normally I would say that's a bad move for him not to use Cyber Jar's effect, but I mean, honestly, ooh, now this could be good. Marie the Fallen One. Marie the Fallen One. That could be really good because once he destroys it and it's in the graveyard, I'll start gaining life points, which I really need because I've only got 700. So, that's really good. I'm kind of glad I drew that, honestly. I'm glad I put that in my deck. I don't know who I won that from. I think I won it from Taya. But yeah, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm in. It's an epic duel. Okay, so he finally got rid of my paralyzing potion. Smart. All right. Attacking Mr. Elf. Can't say I blame you, buddy. It's a good move. All right. We need a card that can defeat the Dark Magician. Don't think I really have one. So, we're just going to keep setting monsters. I mean, hopefully we'll just keep on surviving, man. Staying alive. Staying alive. I, 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 I'm staying alive. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because now, I mean, really, gaining life points, that changes everything. Because, you know, if I get to where I'm even equal with him or higher, I mean, I can be a lot more aggressive and stuff, and that's, that's really good, honestly. Uh, could determine the outcome of this duel, really. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna set that, I'm gonna set Kamori. I don't think it really matters at this point, but, who knows, maybe. You know what would be really good right now is Trihorn Dragon, because I have five monsters on the field, five. So, yeah, if I drew uh, Trihorn Dragon, 
Yeah. Yeah, we, we're looking pretty good here. So I got plenty of tributes just sitting on the field, just waiting, waiting to be tributed. Um, yeah, and I haven't played Trihorn yet, so that's what I'm hoping for, honestly, man. As long as you're attacking with one monster e e each turn, that's fine. Um, just hopefully I get Trihorn. Come on, Trihorn. I don't like that face down. Alright. Looks like he's attacking the leftmost monster each time. That's fine, that's fine, Yugi. That's fine, because each turn, that's just... Like I said, I'm getting, getting more life points. I got more... Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Yeah, Yugi. <laughs> My little penguin soldier in your life. Yeah, he's got 16 cards. I've got 17 cards. Man, this is an epic first duel, you know, for the commentary. It's going to be a comeback in the making, man. I got... I only had like 700 life points at one point. And this is gonna be me storming back. Okay, yeah, it's had Penguin Soldier. I kinda wish you would attack something else, but that's fine. Because with Penguin Soldier, I'm gonna turn your Dark Magician, and I'm gonna turn. I'm just gonna return this to your hand. So, ha! What are you gonna do now, Yugi? Set another card, huh? Oh, and he discarded. Dude, why didn't you play that? Is that someone's skull? Yugi, that's Summon's Skull. Bro, I swear that's Summon's Skull. Is it Summon's Skull? It's Summon's Skull. Bro, like, why didn't you tribute this for Summon's Skull? I don't know. But, uh, maybe that's our... That's just what we needed. So, I'm gonna go for it, guys. I got three monsters in defense mode. So, honestly, like, even if he plays Mirror Force here, which he probably will because he's a douche hole, <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it because, yeah... Alright, so Bolt Penguin. Tag that. Magic Cylinder. You know what, Yugi? Normally I'd be pissed about that. Normally I'd be pissed. But I've still got 300 life points. So, yeah. And yes, okay. Okay, good. I was kind of worried about that, really, because I, I, I thought about it on second hand. I was like, oh man, he still has Dark Magician. So if I don't kill this monster, I might just screw myself. But luckily, yeah. Luckily, yeah, and you're not going to tribute for anything. You're not going to tribute for anything. So, you know what? I'm good. I'm good with that. Now, uh, these monsters aren't the strongest in the world, so maybe I should wait to attack. You might say that's a good idea, but you know what? When you're doing UV, sometimes you just got to go for it. So, I'm going to go for it. Oh! No! Oh! I killed myself. Wow! Yeah. That's my fault. I probably could have pulled that duel out somehow, but yeah, I gotta admit, that was an excellent duel. Ah, uh, yeah. And thus ends the first commentated episode of Dawn of Destiny. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Dude, we got good cards, though. Holy crap. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. Normally, I don't get too many good cool cards from the tier duels, so... Honestly, that was an epic duel, and um, I'm kind of sad it turned out the way it did, um, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad it turned out the way it did, because that was interesting. Um, but that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all Next time, I'm probably just going to take on the tier tier 3 again without commentary. Because my voice is kind of, you know, still... Whew. Yeah. Alright. But I will see you guys next time. Wow. Man, that was a good duel, Yugi. Good, good stuff, Yugi. Good stuff. <laughs>